fantastic. Great yeah. job. Great yeah. job, Bill. All right, I'll catch you later. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, and Mark's um, having a smoke outside? Yes, he yeah. is. <laughs> yes. What's he smoking today? Yeah, this is like a glycol type of uh, material. It's not toxic or anything like that. You know, a lot of time when we're trying to just understand what is causing a certain phenomena, it, it can be helpful to see how the smoke is going over the windshield wipers or the mirrors or around yeah. the, the pillar of the car. And it can help us get ideas on what may be causing the noise. Has it worked exactly the way that you'd hoped? Uh, I'd say better than we hoped. We brought a car in the first day just to, oh, yep, it's blowing wind on here. Yeah. We were pretty confident. And actually, the second day after it was assembled, I got a call to evaluate a vehicle for a wind noise issue. <laughs> and I said, oh, this could be perfect. So I drove the vehicle down here. I yeah. heard the issue on the regular highway. I drove it right in front of that nozzle right there. Yeah. Had the operator turn the wind on, and I heard the issue. Straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. Very first vehicle we had in here. And I said, this is a home run. Would it be completely irresponsible of me to wind down the window right of, now? Of course not. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like we're just cruising down the freeway. Exactly. This is so cool. Well, this isn't Translogic's first visit to the Ford Research and Innovation Centre, but it is the first to the wearables lab. And I'm here with the tech leader, Ifan Chen. What is the focus of this lab? We actually created this lab last year to look at the wearable technologies and their a potential impact on our consumer ownership experience. Now, when we talk about wearables, the first thing that people will look at is potentially the watch that you're wearing right, right now, right. Apple Watch, Samsung Gear, things like that. That is the focus? Yeah, that certainly is something that we're focused on right now, is the commercially available smartwatches. Yep. But we're also looking at the fitness trackers and uh, hand-mounted displays. In addition to that, we're also interested in wearable technologies uh, that can be potentially migrated into our vehicle uh, subsystems. For example, a lot of the driver monitoring technologies, right? The uh, ability for the watch to measure your heart rate and the breathing rate and so on and so forth. And there are a lot of technologies that potentially can be uh, migrated as an embedded solution. Talking about looking forward, I mean, we know we've, we've, we've spoken with Mark Fields before and the, the direction that the company Afford is taking, and obviously autonomous driving is part of that picture as well. Right. Is this something that you are incorporating the wearables into? For autonomous driving experience, right, there is a role for biosensing technology to play. For example, understanding your location in a vehicle, understanding your sleep state, help us to manage the transition from hand over the control to, right. to the driver. Well, Ford is clearly keeping their innovation game strong, which we're sure is going to translate into a safer and more enjoyable driving experience. For Translogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. We'll catch you next time.